Michael Carneal, who was 14 years old when he brought a Ruger Mark II 22 caliber pistol to school and shot eight students. None died at the scene immediately. The third and final victim died at 10 p.m. that night. And in 1998, Carneal was given 25 years to life in prison. And in 2022, his parole was denied. Michael Carneal, now 39, will be forced to serve out the rest of his life sentence in prison. Kipland Philip Kinkle was just 15 when he killed both of his parents, and on the next day, May 20th, 1998, he drove his mother's Ford Explorer to the school. He stopped two blocks away and jogged onto campus. He proceeded to shoot 27 people, killing two. He was later sentenced to 111 years in prison without parole. After being transferred from prison to prison, Kinkle currently resides at the Oregon State Correctional Institution. Ethan Robert Crumbly was just 15 years old when he shot and killed four students at Oxford High School in Oxford, Michigan. He got the weapon from his parents, who were later charged with four counts of involuntary manslaughter for not helping Ethan with his mental health and not keeping the weapon locked away correctly. The judge presiding over Ethan's case made it clear that he thinks that Ethan is able to serve life in prison without parole and that he was able to understand what he did was wrong. Ethan is currently awaiting sentencing in 2023. Jalen Ray Freiberg was 15 when he shot five students, killing four. He was recently crowned homecoming prince. He was very popular in the school and the district. His father was not supposed to have guns in the household, so he was arrested and sentenced to two years in prison for having a gun in the household. Jalen shot himself at the scene and he died. Salvador Rolando Ramos shot his grandmother after an argument in Uvalde, Texas. He then drove two miles to Robb Elementary School, he proceeded to shoot and murder 19 innocent children and two innocent teachers, and he wounded over a dozen more, including his grandmother, who survived being shot in the head. The gunman got into the school by walking into an unlocked door that can only be locked from the outside and not the inside, which is a security flaw and was brought up in the later investigations into the police that took over an hour.